A very warm welcome to all. Today, I, Ria Khanna, a legal intern at Lexus and Company, am here virtually to explain the topic termination of services of temporary government servant. A temporary government servant means a person who has been appointed temporarily for his services to the government. When a vacancy arises and is not filled by a permanent holder, the, tem the Central Civil Services Temporary Service Rules 1965 have been framed under the provision to Article 309 and Clause 5 of Article 148 of the Constitution and after consultation with the Comptroller and Auditor General in relation to persons serving in the Indian Audit and Accounts Department to regulate the conditions of service of temporary government servants. The, these rules supersede the Se Central Civil Services Temporary Service Rules 1949. The main features of the Central Civil Services Temporary Service Rules 1965 are, number one, order to states that the temporary service means the service of a temporary government servant in a temporary post or officiating service in a permanent post under the government of India. Number two, only a person holding a civil post can be appointed as a temporary office holder. Number three, temporary employees are eligible for the post of quasi-permanency after being re-employed, provided that they refund gratuity and or pension other benefits received by them forego their claims to future pension, if any. Number four, Order 5 states the termination of the temporary service shall be liable to terminate at any time through a written notice, government servant to the appointing authority or by appointing authority to the government servant, provided the period of such notice should be one month. After termination, the temporary employee shall be entitled for some equivalent to the amount of his pay plus allowances for the period of the notice at the same rates at which he was drawing them. Immediately before the term termination of his services or as the case may be for the period by which such notice falls short of one month. Number five, procedure to be followed while serving the notice of termination. Notice shall be delivered to the employee in person. If the notice sent by registered post is returned unserved, it shall be published in the official gazette and upon such publication, it shall be deemed to have been personally served on such government servant on the date it was published in the official gazette. Number six, terminal, terminal of temporary employee shall be eligible for gratuity. A temporary government servant who retires shall be eligible for gratuity on the same scale as admissible to a permanent government servant. In the event of his death after retirement, the members of his family shall be eligible for the grant of family pension. Death gratuity. In the event of death of a temporary government servant, when in service, his family shall be eligible for family pension and death gratuity at the same scale and under the same provision as are applicable to permanent central civil government servants. Now, let's understand the right to employment with respect to the Golden Triangle Rule of Article 14, Article 16, and Article 21. In addition to the Equality Clause represented by Article 14 of the Constitution of India, Article 16 has specifically provided for equality of opportunity in matters of public employment. But these fundamental rights, Article 309 provides, that subject to the provisions of the Constitution Act, acts of the legislature may regulate the recruitment and conditions of service of persons appointed to public services and posts in connection with the affairs of the union or of a state. In view of the interpretation placed on Article 12 of the Constitution by this court, obviously these principles also govern the instrumentalities that come within the purview of Article 12 of the Constitution of India. With a view to make the procedure for selection fair, the Constitution by Article 315 has also created a Public Service Commission for the Union and the Public Service Commission for the States. Article 320 deals with the functions of the Public Service Commissions and mandates consultation with the Commission on all matters relating to methods of recruitment to civil services and for civil posts and other related matters. As a part of the affirmative action recognized by Article 16 of the Constitution of India, Article 335 
provides for special consideration in the matter of claims of members of the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes for employment. The states have made act, rules, or regulations for implementing the above constitutional guarantees and any recruitment to the service in the state or in the union is governed by such acts, rules, and regulations. That's all for this particular video. In the next video, we will understand certain important case laws relating to this issue. Thank you.